Here I want to show you how to solve a second order linear inhomogeneous equation with constant coefficients. Uh, and we're going to solve it with uh, initial conditions x of 0 equals 1, x dot of 0 equals 0. Okay, so there's a three step solution to this equation. So the first step is you find the uh, homogeneous solution. So with the right hand side 0. To find the homogeneous solution you try x equals e to the rt and then canceling uh, e to the rt gives us the characteristic equation r squared plus 4r plus 3 equals 0. And uh, this factors uh, 3 times 1 and 3 plus 1 is 4. So we have r plus 3, r plus 1 equals 0. So we have roots minus 3 and minus 1. So we've determined the homogeneous solution then is some constant times e to the minus 3t plus some other constant times e to the minus t. Okay. So that's the first step to find the homogeneous solution. The second step is to find uh, a particular solution. Uh, so here, e to the minus 2t is not a solution of the homogeneous equation. So to find a particular solution, we try x equals to some constant times e to the minus 2t matching the exponential function on the right-hand side. We substitute into the differential equation, and we cancel the e to the minus 2t. So the second derivative brings down minus 2 twice. So we have a 4a plus 4 times the first derivative. So the first derivative brings down a minus 2, so minus 8a plus 3 times the function, 3a, and that has to match 1 here on the right-hand side. So that's equal to 1. So we have um, 4a minus 8a minus 4a plus 3a minus a equals 1. So a is equal to minus 1. And that gives us our particular solution which is minus e to the minus 2t. Okay, so now we have the homogeneous solution and the particular solution. So the third step says that we write the general solution as the sum of the homogeneous solution, c1 e to the minus 3t plus c2 e to the minus t, plus the particular solution, minus e to the minus 2t. Okay? And we use this general solution now to satisfy the initial conditions. So the initial conditions also needs x dot. x dot is minus 3c1 e to the minus 3t minus c2 e to the minus t plus 2e to the minus 2t. Okay, so we have x of 0 equals to 0, uh, equal to 1, sorry. Our initial condition here is x of 0 equal to 1, x dot of 0 equal to 0. So x of 0 equal to 1. Uh, so we plug in t equals 0 here. So we get c1 plus c2 minus 1 equals 1. Then uh, the second initial condition, x dot of 0 equals 0. We plug in t equals 0 here. So we get minus 3c1 minus c2 plus 2 equals 0. 
Okay, this is a system of linear equations. If I rewrite this, we have c1 plus c2 equal to 1 plus 1 is 2. And we have, uh, let me pull this one over to the other side. So we have 3c1 plus c2 also equal to 2, right? These two are uh, two linear equations with two unknowns. We can solve them. We can subtract them to eliminate C2. The 2's cancel. So then we get, if we subtract them, then we get um, C1 equals 0, right? So this would be 4C1 equals 0, which tells us C1 equals 0. And then uh, from the first equation, if C1 equals 0, then C2 equal to 2. Okay, so then we put the solution together as x, so c1 times e to the minus 3t, c1 is 0, plus c2 e to the minus t, c2 is 2, so x of t equals 2 times e to the minus t, plus the particular solution, which is minus e to the minus 2t, minus e to the minus 2t. So that solves the problem, uh, the differential equation and the initial conditions. And if we want to write this so that we see how this solution behaves asymptotically, the e to the minus 2t decays faster than e to the minus t, so asymptotically, it's going to look like e to the minus t. And then we can factor that out. So we have a 1 minus 1 half, and then an e to the minus t. So I would argue that this might be the best way to write the solution.